wondered how many calories a person needs every day? Well, the simplest answer to that is it depends a lot. Now, you may notice on nutritional labels of the foods that you buy that if you flip it over and look at the nutrition facts, the percent daily values are based on a 2,000 calorie diet. But that doesn't mean that everybody needs 2,000 calories and that's it, no more, no less. That is simply based on an average amount of calories that an adult might need. It's going to vary based on a host of factors like height, weight, gender, age, muscle mass, activity levels, where you live, etc. But there are three main factors involved in calculating how many calories your body needs every day. So first off, we have the basal metabolic rate or right. the BMR. Now this is the amount of energy that your body needs to function at rest. And incredibly, it actually accounts for 60 to 70% of the calories burned every day, just keeping your body in motion, doing things like keeping your heart beating, keeping your eyelids fluttering, and your brain thinking because, cool fact, it actually takes calories in order to think. So maybe thinking really hard can help prepare you for swimsuit season. Probably not. Now in general though, I am sad to report, ladies out there, that men do have a higher BMR than women do, which means that guys will just naturally burn more calories during the day not doing anything extra than women will. So ladies, we gotta hit the gym. Now one of the most accurate methods for estimating your basal metabolic rate is something called the Harris-Benedict formula. Now for example, for an adult male, get out your pencil and paper. You're gonna take the number 66, add your body weight in pounds. Sorry, Canada, you gotta convert those kilograms. Now multiply that number by 6.3, add in your height in inches, yet again, sorry, metric system folk, and then multiply that by 12.9, <laughs> we're not done yet. Subtract in your age in years times 6.8 and that will give you your basal metabolic rate. Now, if I lost you at 66, because I think I lost me at 66 too, you can just go online. There are a ton of different calculators on there that will automatically calculate your BMR for you. All you have to do is put in things like your gender, your height, and your weight, and boom, you've got it. The next ingredient in our calorie equation is physical activity. This is the additional stuff that you do on top of sitting down and just letting your brain think and your heart beat and burn calories that way. It's going jogging in the morning, it's taking yoga, it's twerking, you could twerk too. I'm not gonna twerk because these hips do not lie. They can't twerk at all. But the number of calories that you burn in any given activity depends on your body weight. Now for the final slice in our calorie pie, we have something called the thermic effect of food. Now this is the amount of energy that your body uses to digest the food you eat because it takes energy to break food down to its basic elements in order to be used in your body. In other words, once I get all tired from twerking all night and I want to eat some pizza, the very fact of allowing that pizza to digest is going to burn some of those pizza calories. But how many of those pizza calories? Well, to figure that out, you're going to take the total number of calories that you eat in a day and multiply it by 0.1. So you can think about it as roughly 10% of the total calories that you eat are gonna be burned off through that natural digestion process. So how many calories do you need in a day? Obviously, it's gonna depend on a lot of different factors, but there are so many different apps out there and websites and calculators that can help you determine things like your basic metabolic rate, the amount of calories you're gonna burn from different types of physical exercise, et cetera, to help tailor your health and lifestyle and eating to the calorie needs that you have. So if you wanna learn more about how to twerk, wait, no, not how to twerk, but how your body works, maybe when it twerks, you should check out more of our Brain Stuff videos and don't forget to be kind and subscribe.